tonight without any music. I'm very sure you know this little song. I um, We just celebrated Easter. Just come out of Easter season. Let's sing this little song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I
better have to shut your mouth. It's a long ways over here. Amen. And I did not come, praise the Lord, not to have some church. Down my way, I say church. Amen. Praise the Lord, because I love praising the Lord. He is worthy, isn't he? I mean, no, God's worthy. Turn to your neighbor and say, God is.
he wasn't a real busy. And so I had an opportunity to spend a lot of time in the word of the Lord. Amen. And I feel like this word is for somebody here tonight. In Jesus' name. Every head bowed for a minute. Father, in Jesus' name, speak to our hearts tonight. Oh, God, we depended on you. In Jesus' name. And we give your name praise. And all the blessed say amen. Matthew chapter number 19. How many love the Lord tonight? Come on, have you told God how much you love him today? Say, Lord, I love you. Say, Lord, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. How many know God is good? He ain't good sometimes, but he's good all the time. Is that right? Praise the Lord. In, amen. In Psalms 107, uh, it says, uh, uh, praise God, uh, praise the Lord. It talks about uh, praising the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Look at a Matthew, Matthew chapter number 19. I think we're going to start at verse number 16 tonight. Let's see what the Lord has to say to us out of his word. Matthew chapter number 19, verse number 16. If you have it, say, I got it. The 16th verse says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I might have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou will, amen, enter into light, keep the commandments. He said unto him, which? Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh, Hallelujah. The young man said unto him, All these things I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, if thy will be perfect, go and sell that that thy hand, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard this saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. You may be seated tonight. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I want to look at that 17th verse again. I may be doing a lot of reading tonight. I don't know. Would that be all right? Amen. In that 17th verse, it says, and he says unto him, why callest thou me good? How many know God is good? Amen. How many are living on the goodness of God right now? Amen. God is good, isn't he? Amen. He asked the young man a question. Why are you calling me good? There is none good but one. That is God. Praise the Lord. 
been in church. There's been things that have happened, but God is good. He brought me back. Amen. And saved me. Amen. And kept me saved. And the psalmist here is saying to us, Thou art good. Thou doest good. Teach me thy statue. Amen. In other words, Lord, I want you to teach me your law. Amen. Amen. You have been kind to me. And you have been good to me. And you have done nothing but good. I don't understand Amen. Why it takes some of us a difficult time sometimes to praise the Lord. Amen. When you just think about God's goodness, that's enough to praise Him. Amen. I don't have to be pumped up. I don't have to be, amen, jumped to give God some praise for just being good. Amen. Things that are not always be, might not be going good. And I'm not going to say in this life that that, that is like that. Sometimes we can praise God when they feeling good and they praise God when things are good. But when things are not good, they don't have no praise for the Lord. You never know, heard people say, wonder why God let that happen to me. Have you heard people say that? Or wonder why God did this. Or wonder why God let that happen. When something bad happened, they always try to blame God for it. But don't you know, ain't nothing good, nothing else Ain't nothing in the world that can happen to me that should stop any of us from praising the Lord. Is that right? Good. Somebody say good. You take the O out of good, what you got? All right, you ain't slow, but that's all right. You got God, because God is what? Amen. You take the E off of evil, what you got? Let me put the D on the evil right away. Put the D on evil, what you got? Devil, because the devil is evil, is that right? That meant to be no ain't nothing good about the devil. But all that's good is in God. God is good. And he's worthy to be praised. Is that right? I don't necessarily think you got to be jumping around to praise the Lord. But sometimes you don't always feel like jumping around. Is that right? Sometimes you just feel like sitting quiet and praising the Lord. And that's all right, too. Because God understands all of that, don't you? Amen. The psalmist, amen, said in Psalms 107 that all that men would praise the Lord. For what? His goodness. Amen. If we would just praise the Lord for his goodness. Somebody said, well, do I have to be running to praise him? No. Well, you just think about how good God has been to you. And where God has brought you from. And where you could have been. And where you are now, that deserves, amen, for you to give God the praise. I don't have to wait and see who's going to be here. Some people can't praise God in the crowd. I'm going to get there. Y'all just wait over. I'm going to get there. Some people can't praise the Lord, amen, praise God on a Monday night because Monday nights are off night. Monday night? You mean you have a church on Monday night? That's my off night. Amen. But I'm going to praise him on Monday night. He's worthy to be praised on Monday night. The church say amen. Praise the Lord. Some people can't praise him on Tuesday. Tuesday the off night. You have a church on Tuesday? Yes. Well, God is God on Tuesday. It's like he was on Monday. Is that right? I think I'll wait till Wednesday to praise because Wednesday is a church night. I can't praise the Lord because I'm tired and I'm out of here. You know, I've been working all day. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't have no energy to praise him. Praise the Lord. But I want you to know, amen, I don't care how tired you are, you ought to give God a sacrifice of praise. Let the church say amen. I'm going to get there. Just hold on with me just a little bit. Amen. Because he is worthy to be praised. In that same verse of scripture, the psalmist said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those that have been redeemed. Is there any redeemed people in here? Those that he have bought. Amen. He paid the price for you. Amen. You ought to be the first one to lift your hands, to lift your voice. Amen. And give God some praise. The church said amen. I said he's worthy to be praised. Is that right? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we look and see things, amen, we have to be careful that we, amen, don't forget where our blessings come from. Sometimes we base our praise on, oh, amen, on the on the Jones. 
joy. Amen. Steal your peace. Is that right? Praise the Lord. But I tell you what, we are to bless the Lord at all times. Praise the Lord. Let the church say amen. The Psalm 119 says, Thou art good. How many know God is good? I'm praying because he's just good. Uh, I say he's just good. I think about where I could be, sis, and where I am now. I'm just going the way I feel, and I hope y'all don't mind that. I said, I, I said, I realize where I could be. I could be out there in the street. I could be somebody struck out on drugs. I could be somebody not knowing where I am. But thank God, I, he saved my soul. Oh, praise the Lord. I praise him for it. Oh, God. I all got to praise. Hallelujah. You only knew where I came from. Oh, praise the Lord. And you only knew, praise God, my past. And where I came from. Hallelujah. Where I am now. Amen. I can't even help but praise him. Oh, praise his name. Oh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Come on, clap your hand and give God some praise tonight. Oh, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. And praise God. He said, teach me your statutes. I want God to teach me his statutes. Teach me his laws. Hallelujah. I want to serve him right. I want to be in the will of God. I want to be, amen, in his presence. Amen. I'm not forced to go to church. I'm not forced, amen, to come to God's house. I'm not forced to praise him. You don't have to beg me to sing to him. You don't have to beg me to testify. I've never seen so many people today, you have to beg them to testify. You call testimony meeting, you have to wait and say, amen, who's going to get up next? We act like they don't know where they are. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, everybody in here, amen, ought to have a testimony. Let the church say hallelujah. Ah, you say, well, uh, they're tired of hearing what i got to say. Well, I don't care if they are tired of hearing it. You may get up and say the same thing. But hallelujah, I don't care what they, if they tired of hearing, I'm going to say it anyway. If I get up and tell, amen, that what God brought me through, if I tell it a dozen times, I'm going to keep on telling it. This is my time to testify. Let the church say hallelujah. Oh, teach me thy statutes. Teach me thy ways. Hallelujah.
you know if even the Lord told him to do that, God had a plan to give him double. Come on, church. You know the story about Job, don't you? How that bread God, God bragged on Job. He bragged on Job to the devil. He said, have you considered my servant, Job? There's none like him. But the devil said, but you got a hedge around And if you move the hedge, he'll curse you to your face. And the church said, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said, God said, okay, I will let you touch it, but you can't have it right. I'm paraphrasing. Is that what he said? Hallelujah. Amen. Job, praise the Lord, lost everything he had. He had a wonderful family. Come on, church. He lost everything he had. And the next thing you know, he was setting up on a heap in ashes. Sitting out there on it with balls on the top of his head. Come on, church. But you know what Job say? Amen. In all of my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change comes. He never stopped praising God. Huh? He kept on looking up to God. Even when his friends came by and criticized him. I ain't read this today, so y'all can go along with me. So if you read the Bible, you know where I am. So if you ain't read the Bible, you're lost. How many know I'm talking about? All that he went through. But at the end of his trouble, God came by and blessed him and doubled him. He gave him more children. They were the most beautiful ladies and women that in all of the area. Can I say amen? He gave him a better house, put money in his pocket, put clothes on his back. Is that right? Do you serve the same God? When you're going through, let me tell you something. I'll tell you what the enemy is doing to the saints. I see it. I see it. Have you ever heard of so much sickness? Have you ever heard of so much problem? You know what the enemy trying to do? He's trying to steal our praise. Lord, I thank you, Holy Ghost, for letting me go this way tonight. I didn't know how I was going to come out here. He's trying to steal your praise. You ever seen so many disappointing so much, so many disappointing news you hear. You hear so many things that seem like bog you down and even before you get to church. And you have to fight through. Come on, God. Am I in the right church? Every time you turn around, you're hearing some tragedy. In our own families, our children like they're going crazy. Y'all better help me here. In the midst of that, I'm going to give God some praise. Because I know in my praise, there is some victory. I know in my praise, I God going to bring me out. In my praise, God going to bring the truth. Is there any praise in the house? Is there any praise in the house? Is there any praise in the house? That's how you get the victory. Through your praise. You're so out. Hallelujah. You believe in God. You know that God got the power. You don't know when. And you don't know how. But God's going to carry us through, church. Let the church say amen. amen. You may be in a storm. You may be, amen, come out of a storm. Or you might be ready to go into a storm. But you got to remember, if you got Jesus on board, you ain't going under. I said, you are not going under. Hold on to God. Keep on praising him. Keep on lifting him up. Keep on glorifying him. God going to bring you out. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Somebody get me Psalm 107. Somebody get it for me. Hey, that's Psalm 107. Hallelujah. What does it say? Psalm 107. Hey, Amen. Start at the second verse. Read it for me, man. Read it. I see. Let who? How many redeemed do we have in here tonight? 
that have been bought by the blood. Those that got blood on us. Come on, church. Amen. He shed the blood for you. You know you've been bought. You know you got blood on it. You've been baptized in Jesus' name. You got the Holy Ghost. You are the redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Read, says, read. Who we have redeemed. You might not feel like you've been redeemed. You may not feel like praise God you out. But you got to amen speak what God said. He said, who he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I look at how and look. I am still free. I still got the victory. I may not feel like it, but I still got it. I say I still got the victory. Read, it says, read. Sit with the 
spirit from my friend down the street who was with them when I was on vacation. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, you ought to have the power to lay hands on folks and they receive the Holy Ghost. Huh? Sometimes what we do is that we make excuses when they ain't praying up. You ought to take authority. I'm going to tell you what happened Sunday at the church. Y'all know where I'm going tonight. I'm giving y'all a whole lot of this all right? This is a revival, ain't it? And uh, uh, I was teaching Sunday school. And Sunday school, you know, whatever, you know what? In Sunday school, Bible class, you know, let nobody to shout. Sunday school. That's the cool night. Everybody sat back just to pass the tea. You know what I'm saying? Lord, I got bold Sunday. Something bold is going and after I got that picture, I said, the sister wanted to pray. I said, come up here, sis. She had been coming to church. She was trying to, trying, to, trying to get her to receive the Holy Ghost. She still wore pants to church. You know, she said she was saved. Still doing all the stuff the world do. Still smoking. Come on, y'all. Man, I, you know, sometimes we magnify what they're doing. And forget about, amen, pray the Lord. That you have the power to take authority. Y'all don't hear the fan, do you? I said, come up here, I want to pray for you. Brother, I laid hands on in the name of Jesus. I said, I command you to receive the Holy Ghost. Seek. Huh? 
I wanted tonight. Every head bowed. I'm, I'm done. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel like tonight, I know that I have given you what God has given me. I didn't practice this. God knows. I didn't rehearse this one. So I spoke. I know as God gave it to me tonight. My former pastors always say this. God never gives a message that's again for a reason. And somebody in here needs to hear that word tonight. You ain't quite sold out. You're holding back something. Amen. You don't have the Holy Ghost. I don't know why you can't get it tonight. If you want the Holy Ghost, you can get it tonight. Children and all. Come on, y'all. God is filling anybody with the Holy Ghost is hungry for. Is that right? In Jesus' name. If you have a need in your life, I don't care what it is. How about that? God is able to meet it. Now, if you're here tonight, right quick. Amen. Why it's hot. Amen. Why God's moving. Amen. We don't want to change the order of the service tonight. Why God's moving right quick. Stand on your feet. If that's you. Amen. You need God to do something special for you. Amen. Right quick now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are you ready to sell out? You ready to give it all up? Amen. For Jesus. You ready to praise God? You count up the cost? Come and stand here in the aisle with me. Right quick now. Come on, stand right here with me. In the name of Jesus. We're going to believe God with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to believe God. You got the Holy Ghost? You want the Holy Ghost? There ain't no reason why you can't get it. And let me tell you something. You said, well, I've been sick a long time. Now forget about that. Forget about that. Amen. The Holy Ghost is a gift. And if you have sold out, see, that's what the whole thing is. Down in your heart, God knows your heart. Down in the heart, where that secret place is, God knows where it is. And he gave me the Holy Ghost, he'll give it to you too. How many believe that tonight? Amen. You ain't got to beg God for it's a gift. I'm going to believe God, I'm going to command the Holy Ghost to come on you tonight. Y'all will help me pray. Yeah. I said, I'm going to lay hands on him in the name of Jesus. And I'm believing God going to fill him tonight. How about that? Y'all excited with me? Are y'all excited? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. It comes from your belly. Down in your belly. Hallelujah. From down in your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Listen to me. I want you to do this for me. Listen to me, y'all. Wait just a minute. I want you to do something. I want you to follow my instructions. I want you to go on your knees right here and repent. Whatever it is, you got to repent over. I just feel the Holy Ghost telling me to do that. Now, I ain't got to know it because God know it, don't he? I ain't saying you've done no big sin. I ain't saying none of that. I ain't trying to reveal nothing. I ain't trying to tell nothing. But I want you to say, Lord, whatever it is, I want you to forgive me right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to take it out of me. Hallelujah. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Say, Lord. Come on, say, Lord. Come on, say, Lord. Forgive me of all of my sins. Let's all say that. Come on, say, Lord. Forgive me of all of my sins. Say, so Lord, help me. Say, so Lord, save me. Say, so Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Come on. Everybody, come on, everybody say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Fill me, Lord, all of my sins. Take all of my sins away. In the name of Jesus. Pray from your heart, brother. Hey, down in your heart. In the name of Jesus. All of my sins. Hey, God, I need you to wash me in your blood. Oh, he's a good God. He's willing to hear you. Amen. Those that call on him, he will hear them. Amen. Call on the name of the Lord. Amen. They shall be saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Feel me, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Stand up on your feet, brother. Stand up. You feel like you repented real good? Huh? You ready? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands up. In the name of Jesus, I command the Holy Ghost to follow you right now. He got a Moshiah. He come down a Moshiah. He got a Moshiah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, follow him. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, follow him. Follow him. I command you to receive. I command you to receive the Holy Ghost. Receive it. I receive the Holy Ghost. And the number higher. Let the Holy Ghost talk. Let the Holy Ghost talk. Let the Holy Ghost talk. Come on, son. Holler. Let the Holy Ghost talk. Yeah, my, 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 my. Oh, come on.
Come on, praise him, saints. Help me praise him. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come here. Come back up here. Come back up here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Church, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I need some people to get around me here. Come on. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. There's no reason why you can't get the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah. I'm sold out. I have repented. The Bible said, that, amen, when you repent and be baptized, the Holy Ghost, you shall receive the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, come on, receive it. Receive it right now. 